In the Fox 2 fast lane, the Trump administration is pulling the plug on the Biden administration's plan to build out a nationwide network of electric vehicle chargers. But the current administration has plugged in a new plan of its own. Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy says the revised guidance slashes red tape and makes it easier for states to build EV charging infrastructure. It comes as automakers are still pouring money into EVs. Even as the $7,500 tax credit to buy one expires at the end of August. While some praise the streamlined efforts, others are worried how it may impact lower income communities, labor standards, and emergency preparedness. And speaking of EVs, Ford is making a major announcement. The automaker says it will be able to manufacture a new EV model starting at $30 thousand dollars. The Model T EV midsize pickup truck is slated to be released in 2027. It costs twenty thousand dollars less than the average price of an EV. Ford is also implementing a major overhaul to its assembly line system. This system will be three different lines that converge into one instead of a single line. It's all part of a two billion dollar investment in the company's Louisville plant with another three billion dollar plant near Battle Creek here in Michigan set to open next year. And it won't be long until our next cab ride drops down from the sky onto our driveway. These are called EV tolls or electric vertical takeoff and land vehicles. And right now they're being tested in St. Petersburg, Florida airport. The testing has been taking place for months. The FAA is expected to certify the first EV toll in the next year or two. The goal, use them as air taxis, medical transport, or to move cargo. As you can see, it looks like a mix between a plane, a helicopter, and a drone, and eventually they will be autonomous. No pilot needed. Later this month, the task force is set to decide who will be making these crafts and where. In the Fox 2 Fastlane, I'm Dave Spencer.